ஹாய் திஸ் இஸ் பி ஆர் சுந்தர் வெல்கம் டு தி ஸ்பெஷல் எபிசோட் ஆஃப் ஆப்ஷன் கிரீக்ஸ் ஸோ வி ஹவ் ஆல்ரெடி சீன் டெல்டா காமா அண்ட் வேகா அண்ட் டுடே தீட்டா Theta is nothing but the time value. So we shall look at the definition from Investopedia first. What is Theta? The term Theta refers to the rate of decline in the value of an option due to the passage of time. Or we can see the key takeaways. Theta refers to the rate of decline in the value of an option over a period of time. Now let me explain in simple terms. Let us say you want to do a betting with me. I am saying there will be rain in Chennai. in the next 3 months period so what is the probability of rain happening in next 3 months is very high whereas the probability of rain happening in the next 1 hour that's very low so the betting amount will vary accordingly let us say the nifty is trading around 15800 now so if you look at the call options 16000 call option may be trading at 20 rupees 16100 call option may be trading at 15 rupees 16200 call option may be trading at 10 rupees so the price keeps going down why when the strike price goes higher the premium keeps going down that is because i'll give you a real life example let us say now this is a rainy season so the rain is coming and now in the last one month so there is already rain happened 20 cm rain has come already now next one month so how much more rain will come will it be more than 30 cm more than 40 cm more than 50 cm let us say three kinds of betting happening so the probability of getting more than 30 cm rain is higher than the probability of getting more than 40 cm rain and probability of more than 40 cm rain is higher than the probability of more than 50 cm rain so naturally when 30 cm 40 cm 50 cm the betting amount will not be the same the people who are betting more than 50 cm the betting may happen at 10 rupees but more than 40 cm betting may happen at 15 rupees more than 30 cm bet may happen at 20 rupees that is what exactly here also it's happening the probability of market going to 16000 is higher than probability of market going to 16100 and 16100 probability is higher than 16200 so therefore the premium varies but the probability is not only based on the distance it also based on the time what is the probability of market going above 16000 in one week or in one month or six months if you are talking about one year time so surely it will go above 16000 right so based on the time value the price will increase the higher the time value the higher will be the price so that price that you are paying is called time value price all the out of money options are completely is called extrinsic value so that extrinsic value is because of time value now as the time goes this extrinsic value will keep coming down so that is why because the probability of event happening is keep coming down and many people do not understand this time decay very well so let me give one simple example let us say you have an option and 100 rupees is the price of an option now let us say there is a 50 days to the expiry and one day passed assuming that all other remaining things are same like the price value delta gamma everything is remains the same so just because of the time value out of the 50 days one day is gone so that means 2% of the time value is gone so your option price from 100 rupees now the option value will become 98 rupees the buyer will lose 2 rupees now let us say tomorrow is expiry just only 2 days today and tomorrow let us say the option price is 100 rupees today one trading session is gone that means out of 2 days one day is gone that means 50% of the time value is gone assuming that all other parameters are the same the 100 rupees option will come down to 50 rupees so i'm talking only about all the out of the money options where there is no intrinsic value we are only talking about the extrinsic value so therefore the effect of theta will be very high closer to the expiry the effect of theta will not be very high when expiry is far away so if you are a directional player and you want to buy an option so you should not be buying an option 
very close to the expiry. So you have to make sure that the expiry is a bit far away so that because of time value, you don't lose much. The price value or the delta or gamma, so this can be working in favor of option seller or it can go against the option seller. But theta, the time value will never work in favor of option buyer because the time value can only decrease, the time value cannot increase. So therefore, if you're an option buyer and if you take a directional view, you think that the markets will go higher and you want to buy a call option, but don't go and buy a call option very near to the expiry. You go for at least one month, two month time frame, you can do it. Of course, seller, the story is just opposite. The seller will make more money if he's selling options in the short term. And of course, he will be having an effect of gamma and delta, but theta will be the best friend for option seller in the very closer to the expiry. So in simple terms, theta is nothing but the time decay. The time decay will not be uniform across all the time frame. Far away from the expiry, time decay will be slower. Closer to the expiry, time decay will be very high. And if you are an option buyer, you always buy option in a far away expiry. If you are an option seller, you can choose to sell option closer to the expiry. So we have discussed about theta. We have already discussed about delta, gamma, vega and theta. The last one is rho. And because rho is not very, very important, so I don't want to do one separate video. So let me explain in this video itself. Rho is nothing but the effect of option price because of change in the interest rate. Now, many people come and do option selling because they want to make some more money. So let us say, Tomorrow, all the banks increase the deposit rates. You come and put the money in bank FD, they are going to give 50% interest. And do you think anybody want to do uh, come and sell options uh, business? Because the banks are getting, giving more interest. The risk-free return is very high. Why should I take risk here and do my business? So, option selling is a risky business. So where the people will be expecting some good return compared to the fixed return. So if the fixed return is higher and then the expectation here also will also be even higher. And just to give you one example, let us say an option seller is selling options in US. If you go and put the money in US banks, he is going to get quarter percent or half a percent interest. So as and when 3% profit comes, he book the profit because still he's getting six times more money than the FD return. But an option seller in India can do that. As and when 3% profit per annum, can he book the profit? What is the point of making 3% per annum return when the banks are giving 6% return? So he will want more profit. So in a countries where the interest rates are high, the option prices also tends to be higher. And in countries where the interest rates are low, and option prices also tends to be low. So one of the factors that is deciding the option price is also an interest rate in the economy. So even within the same country, as and when the interest rate shoots up, the option prices may go up. And as and when the interest rates come down, the option prices may come down. But interest rate in the economy do not go up and down so frequently. So we can conveniently ignore this row for all the practical purposes. But delta, gamma, vega and theta, so these four are very, very important. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.